Welcome back. Prostate cancer is the second highest cause of death for men, and now there's a new way to test for the disease to keep men happy and healthy. Dr. James Ellis is a leader in male enhancement, sexual dysfunction, and infertility. He joins us now with some great health tips. How are you, doctor? Fine, thank you. Great. Nice now, to see you. there's a new test. What is this breakthrough test? Uh, always we have been looking for a uh, test to detect cancer of prostate. Mm -hmm. Years ago, about 20 years ago, PSA was introduced it's as a biomarker. PSA stands for prostatic specific antigen. It's a protein that excretes from the prostate and you can measure it in blood. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was not 100% accurate. The accuracy was about 40-45%. Ten years after that, a free PSA came in, which is the amount of PSA that's floating inside the blood. So we were detect that one also. So that made accuracy a little bit better, but it still was not final. And recently, FDA approved in the United States and Europe a new one, PHI, which is Prostatic Health Index, which is pro-PSA, so mm -hmm. number three. And all of them, we put it together and mathematically come with a formulation. And based on that one, we can find out if patient has cancer of prostate and how far his cancer is advanced. And after treatment, we can find out if there is a recurrence of the cancer also, because that was another important issue. And for patients that we do not treat them, because there is no need to treat all the patients with cancer mm -hmm. prostate, which is very surprising to some people. When they have a cancer at age 75, 80, and we say, okay, let's watch it and see what's going on. How do we watch, how do we know that this patient's cancer does not advance mm -hmm. based on this PHI? So we do these three tests and we tell them, okay, next year, it still is good. That's fine. Just wait. Wait it another year. Accurate. That's right. That's is right. all it's that info in, in, in your new book here? No. The second this book new book? No, no. Tell, tell <laughs> us a little bit about this. I'm fascinated by the title. I'm not going to lie. What is the title, doctor? Tell us. A matter of size. Okay, matter, this is our, the second book. Uh, this is the second book. The first book was a matter of put, weight. put <laughs> impotence in your past. Okay. Ah. <laughs> so this book was written uh, by Professor Lemperly under my invention of the new patented and FDA cleared subcutaneous penal implant for two reasons. The same principle that we have for breast implant, original breast implant which was introduced about 30 years ago, was for medical reason and also for cosmetic reason. Medical reason is for the patients that they had unfortunately cancer of, pro uh, cancer of breast, the breast was removed so they put implant to substitute and for aesthetic reason. Mm -hmm. And there were some uh, people that they would like to have it for body dysmorphic disease. Some people they feel you know, that they have deficiency in their breast size or for any other reason you know, they would like to have that one for their self-confidence. For men we did not have anything like that. Sure. For men we do have treatment for erectile dysfunction with inflatable and semi-rigid penile prosthesis but we did not have anything for cosmetic and for medical. There are many men, unfortunately, more than 18 million men, that are suffering from congenital penile curvature. Or when they had circumcision, they had some deficiency in their skin, and they have shortening of their penis, or a small penis syndrome, or some kind of congenital disease that make the skin and the size of their penis smaller. That group they need some kind of treatment. And there was nothing available until I came with the idea of using silicon, the same kind of silicon that we use for chin, the same silicon we use for uh, pectoralis, the same uh, that we use for butt or anything, you know, but softer, much softer shape of the penis. We put it under the penis. More than 3,000 of them has been performed, and we are here for reporting you know, in Las Vegas. Yes. You know, we are in the here seminars. to help men. There is uh, treatment out there. So Correct. thank you so much. Sure, thank my you. pleasure. My Dr. Pleasure. James you. Ellis specializes in male enhancement, sexual dysfunction, and infertility. To learn more about his practice, head to the website right there on your screen. We'll be right back.